Hello, my gorgeous Aquarius. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling magnificent. Aquarius, I really hope that this week it just has been very kind, patient and generous for all of you. Aquarius, I want us to actually jump straight in. I've been getting a bit of like these urgent messages or something that's going to happen quite soon. And it's really appropriate because the title of this reading is what's going to happen in your personal romantic love life very soon. So the timeline is going to be pretty tight. You know, it's going to be either in the next few days or the next few weeks for the collective watching this. So let me clear the deck and here we go. And as I shuffle Aquarius, just so you know, all of the direct links to all the decks that we use are in the description box below. And of course, all the information to our online Master Tarot course and all the other products that we will be releasing soon are also in the description box below. So for my beautiful water bearers, Aquarius, please, super intelligent, the scientist, as they say, of the zodiac signs. What is going to happen? One more, please. It's going to happen very soon to Aquarius. The collective watching this very soon in the romantic love life, please. Always guide, guard and protect Aquarius now and forever. Three more. Two more. Last one. Oh, okay. Here we go. So we will see these cards that came out. Hmm, Aquarius. You know, I don't feel this is coming in. I feel this is how you're feeling right now. As certain things come in, nine of wands, three of swords. So we've got Sagittarius and Libra energy, but that sword, air energy. So the air element, which is still Aquarius and uh, Libra energy. I see that you're on the defense here. We're a bit closed off. We're in this protective mode of don't get too close. I'm very selective who gets close to me now. We have our walls up. We're very apprehensive, even probably apprehensive or even what, what I'm saying. But that's the wounded warrior. So even though we're a bit, a bit closed off, we're keeping people at arm's length. There's a part of us that's still, you know, a part of us, if I can talk properly, that's not giving up on perhaps the prospect of love. But ooh, we are, I feel like we're almost still licking our wounds silently, you know, away from everyone, you know, with respect. Now, this is heartbreak. It almost feels the betrayal of the heart, you know, the betrayal of your beautiful sacred heart. So some of you may have been in a third party. It could have been infidelity, but this could also be just any type of intrusion. But this this is heavy. Ooh, OK, I feel like this is just around you. We also have the Empress Taurus Libra energy. So this is the most abundant card it's the most creative the most fertile card and it's all the queens wrapped up into one it's the queen of all queens wow there might have been children here involved mm. you know i kind of pick i didn't want to say it please do not shoot the messenger that's why i like to <laughs> shuffle the cards and deal the cards on camera but i don't feel this is over i really don't feel it and some of you may also feel that as well because the Empress, more often than not, tries to bless a situation, right? If there are a lot of positive cards, that's about giving birth to a situation once more because of the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy, which really complements this um, Empress card. It's about opening up lines of communication, trying our best to you know, reinstate emotional healing, some type of reunion. But I see that you are holding back because this person's triggering you. We've got the Tower, Scorpio Energy, and we have the Eight of Swords, more L air element Gemini Libra Aquarius energy I feel like just this maybe this person's return or even if it's a small communique somewhere it makes us quite nervous and I feel some of you don't want to you know actually go for it just yet the fool so that is Aries energy if that was oh yeah you're taking your time I like this the Knight of Pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy so you know I see that if we had a bit of history with a certain individual we would actually jump for it but because the fool is surrounded by certain challenging cards i see here that you are not jumping in but there is something about this person that triggers us it's like opening up the past you know the, the chest to the past or opening up those wounds and rubbing salt in it again so there's a bit of heavy energy but let's see let's continue let's talk about the current energy we do have the knight of swords gemini libra aquarius energy that's the fastest moving knight so i do feel 
it could even be impulsively that this person might want to reach out to you. Now they may be impulsive, but for you, this is your reading. It's always being wary, you know, it's like, yeah, I can see you're gonna make a quick decision, but don't be impulsive like this person. It might, it may kind of like bite us in the bum. Gather all the information first or until you feel mentally confident within yourself not answer because you feel that's the right thing to do though. But we've got some quick changes coming up. Let's talk about you and only you. Queen of, oh, that's a queen. Why did I say queen? It's clearly the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy. Uh, it's pretty clear here that you are in a position of power. You are very mature. Got a good head on your shoulders, no matter your gender. That's probably why the queen slipped down from my mouth. But I like this. The only thing that you really want, you always wanted was something serious, something long-term, grounded, that's built on love, trust, respect, and loyalty here. I really like, I actually really like your position here of power. You're very grounded. You're very sure of yourself, which is excellent. I like that. I love that. Very good here with your career, your finances, very mature. Let's talk about your person, please. Mm, seeking justice with you Libra energy I like that the scales here are balanced because they're not always balanced depending on what deck we use very we've got a lot of Libra energy in here but some of you may have been committed married might have signed some um, legal documents here but if anything mm, I think your person wants to balance everything out here they may be asking for a lot what are they planning behind the scenes please Wow, I want to talk to you. I wonder this person, if this was a third party, you know, I mean, this can often represent someone that is separated or divorced here as well. I mean, they could be going through something legal here, but could be with you or someone else. Doesn't have to be, but they absolutely want to talk to you. The queen is looking to the past, eyes are closed. They might have been in denial about something for a very long time. Mm, sword is pointing up. Look at that, all the swords are pointing up. Swords are about communication here. So they're planning mutual energies between the both of you, please. Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I love it because before that is the Ten of Swords, which is notoriously known as the most challenging, or the worst card respectively in the deck. But this is a brand new start. So this is mutual energies. This is what we're both thinking about each other, what we both want, how we both feel. But this is more mental though. The sword's pointing down. So there's no communication. Perhaps, you know, we've blocked each other or we're not talking. We've gone our separate ways. Sword's pointing down here. Very interesting. So I think both of you want to talk, but no one has reached out yet. But I do believe your person may reach out. I think, well, I think they're going to reach out first regardless. But yeah, we need to get something off our chest. We need clarity. We need an explanation, a proper apology here. All right, what actions or what moves will your person do toward you? Six of Cups. I had to look twice there. Scorpio energy. So in the meantime, your person's very nostalgic over you. They're thinking a lot. It's like they know there's a bit of, there's a lot actually, not a bit, a lot of unfinished business between the both of you. There might be children involved. We're seeing a past life connection, which is probably why it's been a bit harder to let each other go and move on. It's not impossible, but it's a, a bigger challenge. So this is some type of reunion. They are making their way towards you though. But they're all filled here with their emotions. Let's talk about your person's hopes and wishes, please. When it comes to you, if it's a challenging card, it's going to reflect more of their fears or apprehensions. What do we have? We have the Hierophant or the High Priest, mm, Taurus energy. I think they wish to recommit to you. And I said that, I heard one of you's like chuckle or laugh. It's like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and that's fair enough. You know, this is all about what is coming to you though. Um, mm, yeah. They want to go down. I think your person has become a bit more traditional. Going towards even more the spiritual side of life, getting advice, getting counseling here. This is all about commitment, engagement, marriage. And I see that's a very hot topic here between the both of you. And at least also on their end. Let's talk here about the near future, please. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I think some of you are very good on your own. You know, this is like... The singles card and it so happens to be the minor arcana of the empress so you are on the right path here you're, you may be single but you're not alone it's very rare very rare for you to feel alone you have to have be having a really bad week or a bad month right a bad year but yeah you're successful you're accomplished you're really focusing on your stability your foundation your future so this is the thing you're good with or without this person that's why you're represented here as the king Regardless of your age, 
um, and your gender. I like this. All right. Where are you more leaning toward the outcome though? Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. That's interesting. I feel like if you were deciding to move on, you really want to get something off your chest. That's what I'm picking up because this often leads to face to face communication. As we always say with the three of pentacles, it's all about working together. The team makes a dream work. We're seeking collaboration. At least that's what they're seeking here. I just really pick up that you've got a lot to get off your chest. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of mental pain. There's a lot of trauma here. Split the deck. King of Cups. Interesting. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. A cup for you and a cup for the person. Okay. Well, there is still love there, but we can love someone. But we don't have to take them back. In fact, I see here that you're holding back, feeling a bit, well, how on earth can this be fixed? If there was so much damage done, that's going to fall. It depends what angle I put it on. So this is a very basic blueprint. So I want to get some more messages here. It's very, yeah. Almost feel like you just feel like you can't put up with any more or you can't deal with any more stress here, any more trauma. Like the cup is overspilling here mentally. Yeah. I like you how you're really focusing. I don't know if it's a distraction, but it, it gives you peace of mind when you think about other areas of your life that need attention. It's like respite. Four more, three more, two more. Last one. All right, here we go. Oops, you go there. Let's do it properly. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is, so the three has moved on to the four. This is good. We've got progressive energy. We're moving forward, more Capricorn energy. So we've got someone there really kind of holding on to that chest really tightly, right? Um, very close to their chest. <laughs> um, and the four of pentacles are there. So some of you may really be just holding on to the past. It's like, doesn't matter how your person approaches you, how they reword everything. You're just looking at what they did to you in the past. So it's like they appear more ugly, in other words, because you've seen their true side. And as a result, we are very closed off here. We're keeping everything to ourselves, our true thoughts, our true feelings, our next move. There you are again. See, that's you. Yeah, you're very protective of your energy and you can smell BS a mile away. It's almost like you'll see this person coming thousands of miles away though and see we've got more defensive energy because you're protecting everything that you worked so hard for which for me is also your peace of mind so ten of pentacles virgo energy we've also got the seven of wands leo energy yeah it's because of this person's return they want a new start and you're going to see that as an out tower moment i don't think you're going to like it the five of wands leo energy i think it's actually very intelligent i think it's very smart that you are protecting your energy and even though we can see from your person's point of view you know why they want to come back you know what they want to do what are they planning behind the scenes like i said it still doesn't mean that we have to take this person back we can just accept the apology get the clarity we need maybe even just be friends with them if you want to we don't have to be so the knight of swords what are they bringing lots of messages then eight of wands sagittarius energy even if this person is overseas or interstate doesn't matter the distance, it's really not going to be an issue for them. This is Cupid's arrow, it's love messages. It's always, perhaps to me, it's pretty much always, you know, the bearer of good news. Lots of messages, FaceTime, text messages, email. I'm hearing a lot of DMs for those that are easily accessible on social media. Yeah, this is, uh, they're coming in very, these are very fast energies. You've got the second fastest energy in the deck. First one being the chariot and you've got the fastest knight. So they're coming in hot and heavy. Let's talk about you. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. All right, you know what? You're only human. I see there, there is going to be some temptation. It's almost like we're going to very, in a secret way, entertain the thought that what if we got back with that person? What if? Um, and it's, you know what? I'm, I want to get one more card out later because um, I want to take all the cards out here. But I do see there is some temptation here because there's still a lot of attractiveness. Um, for one another though but you're still very grounded you're not impulsive let's talk about your person please wow look at this justice has been clarified with justice again libra energy and i think this is where the temptation's coming in because we're really seeing that your person is really returning with very um balanced and very true 
reasons. They don't have a, a weird, you know, evil um, agenda. There's no secrets. They may apologize based on facts, not excuses or feelings getting in the way. There is something here, perhaps your person could also be going through some type of, you know, legalities, whether it is separation, divorce, partnership. Yeah, I think they're spending a lot of time here, either in court or with um, a lawyer. There's something here to do with separation, like equal give and take here. But I really want to balance things out. So that is quite genuine to have justice, you know, being um, replaced here, as we can see here, um, confirmed with justice. They want to talk to you. That's behind the scenes. Yeah, they're just bait. They're biding their time. Three of Wands, Aries energy. It's also just like the world card considered very lucky. So, you know, it's a very good omen. It's almost like that's you and that is them. So are you coming or are you going? I think, yeah, the ship's going to be docking. So they're just waiting for the right time. Uh, they're definitely going to make you an offer. That's why it can be a little bit tempting. But then because you're so grounded and you are very mature in a position of power, no matter your age, you still always see what they did to you in the past. You know, the heartbreak. The Ace of Swords is the clarity that we want. And the Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. We've got someone on their knees here, full of regret, you know, feeling embarrassed and ashamed of themselves. And I almost feel here that they want to express that to you. They understand the injustice and the hurt and the pain that they gave you because I just feel like they didn't value you in the past. Now they know what they've got until it's gone. Now they've matured. It can be a little bit too late, too little too late. But I just feel here you also want to express the disappointment, the hurt that they gave you. And I believe that you are going to have that opportunity to voice everything that you've been keeping you know, at the back of your mind. Clearly, they want to come back and transform everything. The death card, Scorpio energy is the card of fate where we have the death of the relationship. We also have rebirth, but it's major transformation. I'm not going to lie. There has been a major shift, a change, a shedding of your person's old skin. I like seeing like the death card judgment or the hermit that represents someone because that always shows that there has been a significant change within them, that they're not going to repeat the same cycles or they're not going to be the same person and be immature and hurt you though. The Hierophant please is clarified by the Empress again. So that's Taurus Libra energy. Remember the Divine Feminine, the Queen of all Queens. They also might be having issues. If there is a third party, they might be having issues with the mother of their children. Could be their own mother here. Even issues with their children. So I do feel if there was a third party, this person was, even if they were separated or they were committed or married, there was some type of third party. But on its own, they would absolutely love to have another chance because, you know, it's a cornucopia of blessed changes and opportunities here. That's the big wish that they have. That's why they're biding their time here. They're just waiting. They're planning. Let's talk about you in the near future. Queen of Swords again. Swords pointing up. I really think you want to talk to this person. Yeah. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. Even if it's just to talk, just to purge, get everything off your chest because you know you're going to feel better. And I think you will. You'll definitely have that opportunity here uh, to talk. In the outcome, we have the three of... Um, Pentacles clarified with the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Oh, it's not a yes and it's not a no for me. That's the true communicator. It's the ultimate messenger. Yes, I feel like you're going to give this person some a delayed response, some challenging news here, but you're seeing the situation for how it is. You're seeing past all the BS. So let's see what type of messages will you give them? We moved on to the page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So, you know, I almost feel it's like you're going to put some ground rules down and just say, we're going to only start off as friends and nothing more. And we'll see where it goes. Yeah. The hermit. There it is again. I mean, not again, but the cards that I like that shows that people have changed the wise sage. So absolutely. Yeah. I'm kind of really picking up here that you're going to think long and hard about this. You're going to make them wait. I want to ask more about the devil there, please. And you for the um, king of pentacles. Yeah, that's you right there. The Aquarius energy with the star. So, yeah, I'm seeing that there's going to be temptation, but you've got a good head on your shoulders. You're not just going to open the doors to this person. Let me split the deck. Yeah, we've got judgment. All the cards that I wanted to come out that shows major transformation are here. Judgment, the hermit and the death card big Scorpio energy. I believe this is going to come back to life, but it's very slow moving energy here. So they may come in very fast because they don't want you to escape. They want to kind of, 
in a nice way corner you and talk to you for five minutes but ultimately this is going to be your decision that we're going to meet in the middle first let's talk about something you know let's get the pink elephant out of the room and then after much consideration you're giving them some very good news to try all over again and we did see judgment so that is about resurrection it's about bringing something back to life and giving each other a second chance but with this time we are reapproaching this connection now with forgiveness with clarity now yes we're not going to repeat anything from the past especially all the pain that occurred in the past and we are approaching this now with wisdom and experience so thank you so much for joining me aquarius this is what you can expect very very soon power to you never ever change for anyone and i will see you next friday bye